Um, we've asked this in, in different ways um, down the years, but I think especially now that you're, you know, kind of working with him, you come into camp really this whole off season is QB one and he's now your offensive coordinator. I know, you know, you've known coach Sheridan since kind of the recruiting process, just from a, a quarterback's perspective, what's it like working with him? What does he bring to, to your position and the way that he coaches you, the way he prepares you just kind of, what are the things that, that really make him stand out for you? Uh, what makes what makes him stand out for me? You know, it's the same with the whole team. You know, everybody said, you know, Coach Sheridan, he always brings a lot of energy. You know, he brings a lot of juice. You know, he always comes in the meetings, excited. You know, he's he's always asking asking us like, wh what are we gonna do today? Basically, like just trying to like get us hyped up for the day and just push us. He always pushes us to our fullest, and that's something that the guys like. They like that he pushes us and he just brings that energy every day, and it's it's always consistent. We'll go to John and then Bob Kravitz. Uh, Coach Allen was talking about the scrimmage on Saturday. I said it was pretty much clean for the most part, uh, no penalties and things like that. But, I mean, in terms of execution, is there anything in particular you feel like you guys want to make sure you improve on going into the next week? Uh, I feel like we've been executing a lot um, of everything that we have going on right now. You know, I feel like everything's been real good. I feel like um, just making sure that we just finish our plays, basically, you know, that's, a, that's one thing that we're – um, been stressing this year, just pushing. Coach Allen uh, stresses us to just finish, you know, finish everything that we do. And you know, I feel like um, last year, you know, we fell short in the bowl game. We didn't finish, you know. So that's, that's something that Coach um, Allen always uh, preaches to us, just finish. Basically, that's one thing that we want to make sure we execute at our best. Bob Kravitz and then Tom Brew. Yeah, Michael, uh, what, what are some of the ways that you feel like you've improved uh, made progress here in the last couple of years? I feel like um, since freshman year, really, um, just slowing the game down, you know, just understanding um, everything that's being put in. You know, um, I feel like when I first came in, you know, I'll, I've always known the plays, but now I, I'm starting – I'm at the point where I understand why we call uh, certain plays and why we do certain things. So I feel like that's one thing that um, I've got better and just slowing, slowing the game down, you know, just understanding the defense, just take what they give me. Real quick, do you prefer to be thought of as a passer or as a dual threat guy? I'm, I always say I'm a passer that can run. Okay. Yes, sir. Why is that important to you? I, I just want to get a playmaker the ball, you know. Um, I touch the ball every play, you know. I'm trying to let my guys out there touch the ball too, you know. So just right. – I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure I, I can try my best to extend the plays, get them the ball, and then if that's not open, then I will take it in my hands. Okay. Thank you. Tom Brewer, then Kevin Brockway. Mike, uh, you're, obviously your first couple of years cut short by injury. We know all that, but now that you are in your third year here, talk to me a little bit about your comfort level in when you're when you're facing the, that live action in games in regards to being able to adjust on the fly and work in conjunction uh, with Nick uh, when, when that time comes is to, you know, the experience is still there for you, right? Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like, like what you just said, experience, I feel like that's, that's one thing that that's going to help me be, be a great player, you know, just understanding everything. And like I said before, just slowing the game down and just knowing, knowing all the assignments, just understanding why, why we do things. Basically, I feel like that's, that's what's going to help me the most. All right, we'll go Kevin Brockway and then wrap it up with Paul Gable. Yeah, Mike, um, you know, last year Peyton was kind of the oldest guy in the uh, QB room. Now, now it's you. What kind of responsibility are you taking in terms of, uh, you know, maybe dealing with Jack and Dexter and passing things along to them? Oh, well, technically, uh, Jack is older than me, but um, – <laughs> Most experienced. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I get, I get you. But, no, nah, it's just, you know – uh, the whole group, you know, we, we love each other. You know, we push each other to be great. Every day we come out, you know, we work hard. And if we see one another, like, let's say, for example, just take this wrong footwork, you know, we correct them. We, you know, we just talk together. We always make sure that we're all on the same page. And we just make sure that we stay connected. We know that's, that's what's going to be uh, best for the team. All right, we'll wrap up with Paul Gable. Michael, to, to follow up on that, what kind of progress have you seen out of Jack uh, so far? Oh, I, I've seen a lot of uh, progress out of Jack. You know, I've seen a, a lot of confidence. You know, uh, Jack Jack has been very confident lately. 
know, he's been playing very well, you know, making um, – he can make every throw on the field, you know. Jack Jack also is like – like same as me, you know, he's understanding the offense and just understanding why why we do everything, you know. I feel like that's one thing that me and him, like, um, connect with. You know, we, we always talk together, make sure that we're on the same page and stuff. So I feel like Jack does – Jack also does a lot, you know. He um, – make sure he studies. He's always on the film, you know. He understands everything that's going on. So I feel like Jack is a great player for us. We definitely – Glad to have him. Quick follow-up from Tom Brew. Michael, uh, you and WAP have that Tampa connection going way back. Um, how has that been so far in uh, in practice in regards to getting the ball to him? Because I'm sure he always wants it. And also, did uh, you know, did you guys get a chance to spend any time together throwing the ball uh, when you guys were home during the pandemic? Yeah, WAP always wants the ball. <laughs> you know, we, we try our best to get him the ball. Um, what what makes a great play? You know, he's a great player for us. He's he's very electric. You know, he brings a lot of energy to the team. You know, and when he has the ball in his hand, you like it's obvious you can see it on film. He does uh, special things. You know, so that's what we we try our best to find ways to get him the ball. And as far as working out um, in the off season, yeah, we we actually threw. You know, we were throwing um, whenever whenever we had the chance. You know, in the off season, like with COVID going on, we couldn't practice, so we always find found time to make sure we connect and just. Stay, stayed, um, stayed together, you know, so that rhythm and that um, connection could stay solid. 